In the part one of data engineering versus data scientist career comparison, we saw a step by step process of a data engineer. In this video, let's see the average salary of data engineer and data scientist special roles. And if you missed the part one of data engineer versus data scientist comparison, make sure that you watch the video by clicking on the link below. Let's see the average salary. In fresher roles, data engineer will earn from 4 lakhs to 7 lakhs per annum, as a data scientist will earn from 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum. Now let's see the step-by-step -step process of a data scientist. As a first step, they'll be getting data from a data engineer or from the cloud resource. As a second step, they'll be doing exploratory data analysis with the help of which they'll be trying to understand the data with the help of basic visualization shots like pie charts, bar charts, and they'll be removing null values of the second step as well. Third step is the most important step, choosing the right machine learning model based on the nature of the data. As a fourth step, they'll be building the machine learning model from scratch. As they have the data in the hand, they'll be using 80% of data for building the model, I mean training the machine learning model, and the remaining 20% of data for the fifth step of testing the machine learning model. With the help of fifth step, we'll be checking the accuracy of machine learning model to make sure that the machine learning model that we have chosen is performing well on the data. Next step is the crucial step, model deployment. Without model deployment, it can't make any predictions. In the sixth step of model deployment, we'll be using cloud platforms like AWS, DevOps, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud. We do have many advantages of data science and data engineering. You know what's the common mistake done by many IT training centers or colleges when it comes to data science? They'll be stopping you to teach at the fifth step, but sixth step is most important, model deployment. And the seventh step, business presentation, which we'll be doing with the stakeholder. In that seventh crucial step, you will be sharing insights with the stakeholders or the business owners who invested in this project. In that presentation, you should present in a way that a non-technical stakeholder or an investor who invested in this project should understand the project that you have dared and the insight that you have founded out of that project. Based on the insights that you have shared, they'll be making important business decisions so that their organization should grow and the profit should get increased. Only then you'll get more pay. That's the most important crucial part that no companies or no colleges are telling in reality.